Hi there, it's Bike Tour Mike here, and we're back this week with 10 hacks for your next bike tour. And we're starting right off with number one. Having trouble to get that stubborn tire to get into place onto the rim again after changing a flat tire? Try using a zip tie to hold the tire in place. That way you get both hands free to be able to work that tire back into place again. And this usually does the trick. And while we're on the subject of maintenance, when you're doing your mechanical work at home, you probably have access to a sink and some soap to be able to wash your dirty hands. But when you're on a bike tour, things are usually not that easy. So what I like to do is to bring along a couple of disposable vinyl gloves to keep my hands clean. And even better if you were to get hold of nitrile gloves, since those tend to be more puncture resistant and they're also a bit more resistant to chemicals and some solvents as well. If you're going on an overnighter or if it's the first day of your tour and you're starting from home, why don't make it a bit easier on yourself and bring some pre-prepared food from home. Just take yesterday's leftovers, put it in the freezer and heat it up when you reach camp. If it's frozen and you're not touring in a super hot area, that food will still be fresh at the end of the day. But make sure to pack it in a sealed container so it doesn't leak all over your panniers. And I really hope that you all bring duct tape on your bike tours since it's a really practical and versatile help if you are to get into a pinch with your gear. But the problem with duct tape is that it's often sold in these really big rolls of tape and this is really impractical to bring along on your bike tour. So what I usually do instead is that I take my bike pump and a strip of duct tape and roll it onto my bike pump. This way I'm able to bring along a fair amount of duct tape and it barely takes up no space at all inside of my panniers. And if you compare this to this one, you can easily see the difference. And to be honest, no one is going to be able to use this amount of duct tape on a bike tour either. And if and when I do need the duct tape, it's easy to use again since it's rolled up to my bike pump. If you're camping in a place where it's going to be cold during the night, heat up some water right before you go to bed and pour that water into a water bottle which you later place at the bottom of your sleeping bag. If the bottle gets too hot, you can always wrap it in some clothes to make sure that you don't burn yourself. And by placing the water bottle at the end of the sleeping bag, you raise the temperature of the sleeping bag through a large portion of the night. So if you're planning on doing some wild camping during a bike tour, try doing that on a weeknight instead of a weekend. Chances of you bumping into people going on a hike right where you've pitched your tent is virtually zero when you do some wild camping on a weeknight. However, if you were to do that same wild camp during the weekend, chances of you running into some local people increase a lot. I've learned this over the years when I've been touring down in southern Europe and I've had a couple of awkward encounters with local people along the way. So if you're out on your tour and it's supposed to be pouring down rain during the night, so what I usually do is I first cover my saddle with a plastic bag since it's made of leather, but I also tend to cover up my drivetrain with a couple of plastic bags as well. This saves me from having to do a lot of maintenance the morning thereafter, such as cleaning and lubing the chain again, and therefore saves me time as well. Always bring a backup meal inside one of your panniers if you're not able to get to a supermarket at the end of the day. You might realize that it's a Sunday and if you're touring down in southern Europe such as in France, Italy or Spain, supermarkets are usually closed during Sundays. So instead of risking going to bed hungry, I always bring along a backup meal. Maybe like this one that only weighs 140 grams, so it basically takes up no space inside of my panniers. Don't throw away the lint from your dryer. Instead collect it and bring it along for your next bike tour. 
it works great as a fire starter for a campfire. So I'm trying to be a somewhat organized person. And usually that works out sort of meh. So when I go on my bike tours I like to pack my clothes and electronics inside of packing cubes. And what I've learned over the years is that you're able to fit so much more inside of these packing cubes if you roll your clothes instead of folding them. And until next time, have a good one.